All right, I wanted to go over the general site structure, um, just do a little walkthrough. Um, so let's open up the index.html file and get started. All right, let's start at the top. And one thing right off the bat that you'll notice is all these if IE6, if IE7, IE8. And um, basically what these things do are they target IE browsers. And um, so for example, you see this IE6, IE7, IE8. What they do is they allow you via CSS to target these browsers. So if you just typed in, um, you know, dot IE6, you know, div top announce margin top 10 pixels, only IE6 would be able to read that. So it's pretty cool because it gets around any browser hacks. So that's basically what that does at the top. The other thing it does is it also, um, it's, it runs along with this modernizer script and it brings all of the um, browsers that you know don't really comprehend HTML5 and all that up to date um, via JavaScript so it modernizes them <laughs> so that's basically the modernizer script right here and this code at the top the other stuff's pretty basic um, in the head document if you wanted to learn about any of these other things that have to do with the meta and the viewpoint there's tons of videos on HTML5 boilerplate which is the framework that we're using um, and they'll break down every tag that's in here so um, let's just scroll down everything else is pretty standard you know there's a couple HTML5 tags like aside but they're basic, they just act like divs. So if we scroll down to the very bottom, this is the other thing I wanted to go over, which was the JavaScript. Now a lot of times the JavaScript's at the top. With HTML5 boilerplate, we put it at the bottom and it's basically just to help your page load quicker so you get to view your content before the JavaScript loads. Um, <clears throat> so right here this is basically jQuery loading and uh, <clears throat> this is standard um, jQuery most people load it from Google API and we do too but it what this does right here is if Google is ever down um, it will automatically pull in a local version of jQuery so it's just a little backup in case the Google version can't be found then we have a little maps API. This is for the maps on the um, contact page. And then we have our plugins and our scripts. And we put them in two files so that they're just contained in two files and it just cuts down on the server request, which makes your page load quicker. So let's just move on to the plugins and scripts file. Just go over that really quickly. <clears throat> So let's open up our plugins file first. So this one's kind of a, a bit of a messier file. And uh, it has a table of contents. And basically what this is is just all the plugins that power different things like our slider and various things like that. So this one you probably won't touch much. You can dive in here if you decide you really want to cut down on your um, you know files being used if you know you end up not using your home page slider or something like that you can come in and delete that strip of code but basically your plugins file is just the plugins that are driving JavaScript plugins that are driving your site your script.js file you're going to be probably viewing quite a few times it's got a table of contents and um, it's basically what activates all of the JavaScript that's actually on the page um, with these document.ready functions. And um, yeah, so this one's a little more useful and easier to pick through with comments and all that kind of stuff. Um, the last, yeah, and that's basically the general site, site structure that you need to know about.